Okay, everybody, what's up? My name's Gary, and today I'm going to check out um, the Rental Snake Ferry, and more specifically, a place called Grassy Knob. Don't expect to do a whole lot of photography, so this would be a more of a geological exploration video. This is not part of the high. This is just give you some kind of a general idea where we're going. Okay, folks, this is Rattlesnake Ferry. And what you're looking at is the Big Muddy River. Yeah, normally I wouldn't be able to walk on this here. And the reason is it is muddy. This is where the river gets its name, but it is frozen this morning. It's below freezing. Now you can see on the other side over here where uh, the old ferry used to go across and there's pilings over here. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna go way down here. That is a rock outcrop into the river. We're gonna go check that out. Okay, so I'm headed out on the hike now. I will apologize in advance. So if my nose is running or anything and it shows up on the camera, you know, it is cold. Okay, so I've come to this creek, this drainage here, and it looks like almost a natural <laughs> walkway. So yeah, really appreciative of that. Goes on for a little bit. Okay, I'm getting very close to that rock that uh, juts out into the water. And I don't know if you can see that ridge line there, or that outline of that hill. But we're gonna go exploring up there. All right, so I've made it to the rock jumble that's right near the river. And it looks like this was just kind of placed here. This is cool. So this is a pretty good sized rock jumble. And this is limestone. What exactly kind of limestone it is, I'm not for sure. So I can see the pilings from here, but this is what I've come for, this rock here. This is really neat. I don't know if it's iron embedded in this rock. It's just really odd. It just goes up the side of that bluff at an angle at that. So we're down there at the ground level and then it just works its way up. So if you watch my previous video, I'm not too far from Horseshoe Bluff, but we're in a totally different geological framework here. So I need to watch my step here because it is uh, very slopey. Got some cool icicles. A little bit different erosion here. You can see where water may have carved this out here, just from the flow. And we do have ice on this rock, so I'm gonna have to be careful. Got a little hole. It's pretty neat. Yeah. So that's just been eroded out differently and I don't think I'm gonna be able to go a whole lot further than this so it is getting sketchy and one wrong move ends me up in that water and guess where I don't want to be I do not want to be in that water yeah just a really cool area that uh, you know if it wasn't, oh crap, that ice got me there. This ice right here. Yeah, this is a cool area. I would not suggest this at all um, in the summer uh, or when the ground is not frozen because that mud is no joke. Um, it is clayish, I believe, and it will have you slipping and sliding all over the place even when you get out of the area. So if you're gonna go up and explore more, yeah, it's not fun with all that clay just uh, caked on your shoe. 
Now, the other issue about this area is snakes. So anytime you get bluffs like this and water together, you're gonna have issues with uh, snakes. So definitely wouldn't come out here during spring, summer, late fall or early fall. Uh, yeah, this is a, for, this for me is a winter area only. So yep, pretty cool area. And I'm gonna make my way back out of here. It's a cool viewpoint of the big muddy river. So that's where I was last week. And yeah, I'm just really surprised that I can see it from this angle, which is cool. I like that. I don't know if you can hear that train in the background, but like when I was over at Horseshoe Lake, just right across uh, the river here, not very far, is the railroad tracks in Route 3. So I've been working my way down this scree slope. Yeah, I've got a little bit more to go. Uh, it's frozen. It seems like it's frozen together a little bit, so it's not too bad. So uh, yeah, I hope to get down to this point here. And it doesn't look like I can go around, but uh, still worth getting down here to get a clear view of the side of this bluff. Yeah, that's way up there. Hey, what's interesting is, look at this. Just notice this. This here, this here is a huge layer. And it goes way up, but right up there where, is where it starts to be those bands. And then we lose those bands for a little while and it goes on up. Huh, that's interesting. So I was just walking down the shoreline here and this is rock just out here by itself look what's on top of it we have fossils now it seems to be on this brownish iron level here or layer and they're really small but Still yet, that's the first fossils that I've found in this area. So that is promising. Some bigger ones right there. This is the biggest one. I just don't know what that is. Yep. Yeah, so I'm going to be on the lookout for more uh, fossils but I'm gonna probably go up there and start to look for them um, I'm gonna continue down this uh, shoreline a little bit because I've got a, a point up here and I may just circle my way back all right would you look at this we've got a spring coming out of the hillside here and it's going directly into the muddy it's like two of them yeah. Uh, that's neat. It's really clear too. Not gonna drink it. Tell, even though it's frozen, that animals come to this area also. I mean, there's hoof tracks all over the place here. Maybe this here tastes better than that. It would seem like it would. <laughs> I have made it to the top, or near the top of this bluff here. This was not fun at all to come up. Uh, it was just scree. I mean, it was using hand over foot just to get up here. So there's an old power plant at Grand Tower. So I am, I am literally, I am straight across from it. And that is Fountain Bluff that runs across there. I saw this rock from down below and I knew I needed to get some footage of it because it is 
just gnarly. Um, I may have the name of this wrong, but I think this is Grassy Knob Chert. And it is just waiting to disintegrate. But I'm afraid if I touch this thing, it, it's going to all fall down on me. And that's why I love coming to these places like this. A little bit of elevation gain has given this wild rock, this wild geology. Yeah, I don't think you'd want to eat these icicles. I found some more frost flowers. Now, I did find a couple of these on my last hike over at Horseshoe Bluff. So, yeah, it just tells you that they're kind of, you know, all around. Just keep your eyes open. There's another one, a little bit more elaborate. Yeah, those are really cool. And they've got a good view. Okay, so I've worked my way. That's where the chert bluff was. And then this is where the transition from. And I've got some pretty prominent uh, points here now of limestone. I mean, that's no joke. But what I'm headed towards is this area. This one is humongous. And we've got this little area I can explore here. There's some kind of hole back there. I don't know if it goes back anyways. What the? There's definitely something back here. Um, I do see tracks. Oh. All right, so there's definitely something back here. I haven't checked it out, but I do see uh, animal prints, so I'm kind of concerned about that. Uh, I've got my light, so I'm going to go check it out, but uh, I'm going to play it real safe here. Yeah, so I'm going to get my light. Okay, so here we go. Wish me luck. All right, so I've got some animal prints. So what I don't want to run into is like a bobcat. Something of that nature. Oh, oh well. stand up. Oh. Man, it's warmer in here. I mean, this is straight up cave formations here in this limestone. Yep. That's a big stone. Yeah, so we've got life back here. Um, I mean, there's still... things flying around. I mean, it's warm back here, which is weird. That goes back even further. spider up there. It's just weird. I mean, I, I expect to see it. So 
something back here. I just can't believe how warm it is. I keep on saying that, but this is, this is amazing. <laughs> Good gosh. I mean, those are formations. There's nothing hanging on the ceiling, but you can see this. I'm not gonna touch it because that may stop it from growing. This limestone is dissolving here. It is creating all these little cool, it's not a stalactite because it's not hanging. Wow. I'm just blown away. Absolutely blown away. I did not expect to see this at all. But we've got fossils in this rock. This here protruding out of the rock. Got one here. And we just got a bunch of them in here. Uh, we've got something here. Yeah, we've got one here. Uh, we've got a bigger one right here. We've got a bigger one right here, one that's broken off here. So this cave is not only full of flow formations, we had fossils embedded in the rock also. I mean, this is the highlight of the entire day. And look, it is freezing outside. I don't know if you can see that right there. Yeah, we've got spiders in here and they're doing just fine. Doing just fine. Wow. Let's make my way out here. This is the most cave-like area that I've been in without actually, you know, being protected or anything. There's no bats back there, some spiders, but, uh, wow. 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 That's kind of cool. Oh. Oh. All right, we've got another hole here. Not one that I can crawl through, but looks like squirrel, chipmunk, or something's been using it. All right, that is a wrap, folks. Uh, I am done, and I am beat. Climbing up those hills is no joke. Those kind of finds are, you know, priceless. So to find stuff like that, to share it with you folks, you know, that is awesome. I enjoy that. If you like this video, give us a like, because we need them. We need all we can get. So, so if this is your first video or maybe your second video and you haven't subscribed yet, you know, do it. Because we need subscribers. Thank you for watching and we'll see you next time. This is Bailey Limestone. It looks totally different than where I was at because you can see it layered here. So we'll explore this at some later time.